Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm doing a huge pot of mac and cheese. Um, my sister actually made this for me. She, so the reason why there's so much is because my dad, when we were telling him about it, he is gonna take some too. So my sister just made extra and I'm obviously not gonna be able to finish all this, but whatever I don't eat, we're just gonna take home to him because he wants some too. So yeah, I'm really excited. So I'm just gonna start eating first. Um, oh my god, you can literally see the steam coming off. My mouth is watering. Okay, first bite. Oh my god. <laughs> That is so good. Okay, this has six different cheeses in it. So I'll put the recipe in the description because my sister just used a recipe she found online, but this literally has six different kinds of cheese in it. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then for today's video, I also asked you guys on the YouTube community tab, um, I asked you, so I wanted to do like a who would you rather tag. I don't know if you've ever seen Ellen's um, show. She does it a lot with people on her show. So basically it's like I'll read out one name at a time and do like who would you rather and then it's kind of like you see who the person ends up with at the end so I got a lot of comments on it which is cool but I don't think I'll be able to obviously get through all of them so I'm just gonna be like scrolling through my phone and like picking random names I don't know if you can see like how cheesy it is It's literally so good though. It was like actually torture when she was making it and I was getting ready because I could smell it. it. Smells so good. Okay, so for the first one I'm doing, I'm just going to start off with two names because I don't have anyone else to go off of, but Edward Cullen or Jacob. Mmm... I used to be obsessed with Twilight and I was always, like I always wanted Bella to end up with Jacob. Just because Taylor Lautner is like, well he's not really as relevant anymore but back when Twilight was popular like he was so hot so yeah I'd probably pick Jacob. Okay, so for the next one, Leo DiCaprio. Um, if I had to choose between even like old, like young Leo DiCaprio over everything, but even old Leo DiCaprio, I would choose him over Jacob any day. Like, he's so hot. So Leo wins that one. Hmm. So a lot of people ask like multiple names, but I'm just doing like one at a time. So next one is Tom Hardy. Um, I love Tom Hardy. I think I said that in one of my videos before. Like, he is just unreal. So I would choose Tom Hardy. He's, I think in real life he's only like 5'7 or 5'6, but I would still choose him. Okay, so for the next one, Beyonce. Um, okay, people are probably going to like hate on me for this but I really think that Beyonce is like over like I think her music is really good I'm not like hating on her or like saying that I don't like her music but I think she's like super overrated 
So just because of that, I would choose Tom Hardy over her. Just because, like, I don't know. I don't even want to get into it because I know people are going to, like, leave me hate comments about it. But, yeah, I just think she's overrated, so... Okay, so next, Shane Dawson. Shane Dawson is, like, first of all, my sister's obsessed with him, too. Shane Dawson is, like, our favorite YouTuber. So, like, it's hard because it's, like, I want to choose him, but, like, Tom Hardy's so hot. Um, I feel like I'll still choose Tom Hardy on that one. Even though, like, I love Shane, it's just, like, you can't really beat Tom Hardy, so... Okay, next one, James Charles, um, Tom Hardy. Okay, next, Jake Gyllenhaal or Tom Hardy. Um, Um, probably Jake Gyllenhaal. I've watched, like, lots, it sounds kind of weird, but I've watched, like, a ton of interviews with him. Like, just any kind of interview, and I feel like in real life, I would get along with him really well. And he's also in one of my favorite movies, so, Jake Gyllenhaal. I was watching him do like ASMR, he did like an uh, he tries ASMR video for an interview and he's actually really good at it and I don't know, I just thought it was really cute that he was like, you could tell he like cared about ASMR and like actually putting effort into it, like I've watched some of those videos and like sometimes the people like think it's like a joke but his was good. Mm. Okay, so for the next one, Leangelo Ball or Jake Gyllenhaal? Definitely Jake Gyllenhaal. I don't even know which one of that family that one is, but <laughs> I don't really think any of those, like, brothers are that cute. And, I don't know, is that the one that, like, stole in a different country? I don't know. I don't really pay attention to that kind of stuff, but I would definitely choose Jake Gyllenhaal. Okay, next, Tana Mojo or Jake Gyllenhaal. Still Jake. I mean, I love Tana. I love her videos, but I feel like she'd be like a little bit too crazy for me. So, Jake Gyllenhaal. Okay, next one, Team 10 or Jake Gyllenhaal, which that's literally not even hard at all. <laughs> Jake Paul and his, I don't know which one of them, Jake or Logan Paul is in Team 10, but I think that whole group is like kind of irritating, so definitely Jake Gyllenhaal. So next one is Hilary Duff at her peak. I used to be so obsessed with Hilary Duff when I was younger. My favorite song of hers was Metamorphosis. So probably Hilary Duff just because like, like literally my Hilary Duff obsession was like way too much. I remember when I first found out that Lizzie McGuire and Hilary Duff weren't the same person. I was depressed for like a week, but then I got over it and I became obsessed with Hilary Duff. So Hilary Duff.
Okay, next one is Grace and Dolan. And I actually, the funny thing is, I didn't even used to, like, I knew of them, but I didn't used to watch their videos because I kind of assumed they would be, like, the Team 10 type people. But my sister told me to watch their videos. And they actually seem really nice and, like, chill. And Grayson's super cute, so I would probably choose Grayson over Hilary Duff. And also because they're twins, too. So, yeah, and I'm a twin. So, yeah, I'd choose Grayson. Okay, so next person is Rice Gum or Grayson Dolan. I don't even, I haven't even really watched many of Rice Gum's videos, but the ones I have watched, she's like pretty much just like being mean about people. And I heard about like what happened with him in the Gabby show where he like broke her phone or something crazy like that, so. Just gonna stay away from that and say Grace and Dolan. Okay, so next, Tristan Thompson or Grace and Dolan. I'm pretty sure that everyone on the face of the earth like hates Tristan Thompson right now, and so do I, so Grace and Dolan. But even before that happened, like even before he cheated on Chloe, I still would have chose Grayson anyways. Okay, so next, David Dobrik, Dobrik, or Grayson Dolan, and, like, David seems nice and funny, but still Grayson, just because Grayson seems nice and funny, too, and he's really hot, so, Grayson. Haley, wait, okay, next, Haley Steinfeld, or Grayson Dolan, and... I actually would definitely choose Haley Steinfeld. I, first of all, love her music. Second of all, she's gorgeous. Third of all, she just seems super nice. When I thought that her and Shawn Mendes were dating, I was actually very happy about it. Yeah, I would choose Haley Steinfeld over Grayson Dolan. Okay, next one that's funny because I literally just said I wish that Haley Steinfeld and Shawn Mendes would date, but Shawn Mendes is the next one, so Shawn Mendes or Haley Steinfeld, and I have to choose Shawn on that one, just because if you watched my other, I think in a QA and a I said he was like one of my top celebrity crushes, so I would choose Shawn Mendes. Okay, so for the next one, Austin from the Ace Family or Shawn Mendes and first of all it's going to be kind of hard for anyone to really beat Shawn Mendes but yeah I wouldn't choose Austin I don't know I just like I'm not it sounds I don't even know how to describe it but he's just like totally not my type of guy he's kind of like extra and like out there and like that's just not my type so yeah I would choose Shawn Mendes Okay, so people ask some really good ones. Next one, it's but just funny because like I always have like these opinions about these people, and now I can just say them, I guess. <laughs> so the next one is Adam Sandler or Shawn Mendes, and definitely Shawn Mendes. I really don't like Adam, any Adam Sandler movie I've ever seen. I just think he's like, I don't like his sense of humor. So I would pick definitely Shawn Mendes. No, like, I don't want people to be, like, upset about the things I'm saying about these people, but, yeah, I just don't find Adam Sandler funny, so, Shawn Mendes. Okay, so for the next one, it's funny because the girl, her name is Laura Bordages, but it's funny because she said Christian Bale or Shawn Mendes, um, but I'll just do Christian Bale, obviously, so I would actually probably 
choose Christian Bale over Shawn Mendes just because he's more like mysteriously hot, especially in Batman. So yeah, Christian Bale. Okay, so next one, Steve Carell or Christian Bale. And honestly, I think I might have to choose Steve Carell on this one just because he seems like, like I feel like if I was hanging out with him, I would just be like dying the entire time because he's so funny. So probably Steve Carell actually, which is really random, but yeah. Okay, so for the next one, Drake or Steve Carell, and Drake is probably my favorite musician ever, and he's super hot, so I'll choose Drake on that one. Okay, so next one, Rihanna or Drake. Mm. That's actually a really hard one because Rihanna is like, just Rihanna, so, um, I'd probably choose Rihanna actually, just cause I feel like, like can you imagine hanging out with Rihanna? So yeah, I choose Rihanna. <laughs> okay, next, The Rock or Rihanna? I would definitely choose Rihanna. I remember, wasn't The Rock like recently voted like Sexiest Man Alive or something? I remember when I saw that I was really confused because I didn't think that anyone thought he was like super hot. Like I don't think he's ugly or anything, but the fact that he was voted as like the sexiest man alive, I remember just being like really confused. So yeah, definitely Rihanna. Okay, so I'm kind of getting full, so I think I'm only gonna do like two more names. But for the next one I'm gonna do Trisha Paytas or Rihanna. Um, I love Trisha, like my dream or my goal in life is to do a mukbang with her, but I would still have to choose Rihanna just because it's Rihanna, so yeah, Rihanna. Okay, so for the next one, I'm going to do, it's actually my last one, but I'm going to do Nick Coletti or Rihanna, and <laughs> I'm actually going to choose Nick Coletti because I think he's literally probably the funniest person on earth, so I'm going to choose Nick Coletti, so I guess I end up with Nick Coletti. <laughs> If you don't know who he is, go to his Instagram and watch some of his videos that he has on there. He's literally hilarious. Um, but yeah, so I know it doesn't seem like I ate that much, but I promise you I did. Like, I'm actually full right now. And I think it's just because it's, like, so narrow. But yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye.